Okay, yeah, it looks like it's yeah, it looks like it's going. Okay, so this is uh this is uh my dev log of my board game that I'm working on. Um just gonna kind of give a quick rundown as to how I made all this stuff. Um well this is the board here itself. Kind of tell it's yep, that's the name of the game. This is just a prototype I'm working on until I figure out board layout and what works best and everything. Um, I made this board actually out of uh, out of uh, corrugated cardboard like this, just like the simple simple stuff you get boxes in. Cut a couple, cut a big, uh, ah, excuse me. Cut a couple big slabs of these out. Duct tape the center together, like make sure it folded. Then I went through and did, as you can see, layers of duct tape around here to kind of seal it to keep it a little bit of waterproof. I know it's a prototype, but I do want to keep this together in some sense. And then for the top, whoop, that came out, sorry. For the top, I took uh, smaller or thinner pieces of cardboard from like little boxes you buy from like like a cake mix or uh let's see here yeah like see how thin that is i just uh, took a couple big chunks as you can see it's kind of it's not exactly one big sheet the final uh the final board isn't gonna be built like this i'm not sure exactly how i'm gonna build it but i think it's gonna be built out of uh insulation foam it's really good for uh solid things i'll probably just make like four four quadrants that i'll uh, hook together with magnets speaking of magnets these are from uh little magnet toys i used to have as a kid and they're called magnetics um i figured since i wasn't really using them anymore these would be really useful for like arts and crafts and stuff um just throw them in a container with some acetone and let the plastic melt so this is a, uh, these are a bunch of like small sheets on here. I stuck them together with, I didn't really have any like any other clear tape other than this. It's a freaking really strong ass tape. It's really hard to freaking rip, I tell ya. Uh, I stuck those together. Got kind of a little outline going on. As you can see, well, maybe you can see it. I don't know, can it focus? Let me turn the light on, actually. There we go. Yeah, so that's the start space. Um, I'm not really sure the whole layout of this, but um, I'm probably going to do... This is why I do a prototype. I'm going to do what I think works best, and if I... If I in in playtesting, if it doesn't really work out, or if I want to change something, I can always make notes to change that. Um, I'm super excited to start this project too. Um, I've always wanted to like make a board game since I was a kid and this is kind of my way of doing it because I'm getting into arts and crafts and uh, learning to do stuff with like simple junk. Like these for example, these, uh, these are little bases for the, um, for like your, uh, your player characters, like your pawns. Um, what I'm going to do is, what I did is I took a little section off of these. This is a little roll that came off uh, like a coupon dispenser at um, from the machines where I work. Uh, I've been saving these for quite a while. Uh, I took a little section of that, used my little, my little Dremel tool right there, cut off a little section of it. And then I put a little bit of cardboard on one end. Filled the inside with, uh, what the hell is that stuff called? I don't know. It's got like several different names, but I got some stuff from the hardware store to just kind of fill it up, just cheap filler. And then, uh, stuck a magnet in there, then put another, uh, another piece of cardboard, uh, hot glued on top of there. Best part is they stick together for storage. Well, I mean. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, some sort of some sort of character like mounted on like a little bit that you stick on there with a magnet. So, you know, it just I, I, li I like magnetizing things like this. It's a lot of fun um, just because you can 
you can have like terrain pieces and then you know when you when it comes time to take down the board you can just remove them which is what i'm going to do with uh certain pieces on the final board i'm going to stick some magnets in there and have like maybe like a tree or you know just like a tree or something or maybe like a lamp post just stuff like that just uh, little neat things to add to the add to the environment speaking of adding to the environment got these or made this what you got here is a little uh little store obviously made out of uh these plastic things are were actually uh from moist cat food i got my cat um i after i started looking at them i'm like you know what these are pretty solid these might actually make pretty good uh uh scrap for building something i don't know what exactly but i'll figure that out when i get to it and i'm like well you know what let's let's play around with those and happy with the result as you can see i got a lot ton of scrap over here so i've been hoarding i wouldn't say junk but i've been hoarding this stuff for uh the past few months yeah see there's there's one of the little cat food dishes uh, and then the little signpost was made out of uh, connects. You kind of see, you can see the the signs kind of mounted in there with the little things. Uh, and then, as far as the sign itself, just more cardboard. Um, I think that's all I really got to show off so far. Um, I still got a lot of work to do for this prototype. I've I've been typing out rules and all that and. Uh, just trying to figure out how the game's going to be played. Um, not really, not really uh, entirely 100% certain on everything, but I'm, that's the fun of it. It's just kind of figure it out as I go. Um, it's fun of making a prototype. You take it in. Uh, you have your play testers play. In my case, my play testers are going to be uh, uh, some of my cousins and uh, my in law. Hi guys, if you're watching this. Um, uh, but yeah, I still got a lot of work to do, and when I get into uh, play testing, I want to be able to take notes to see what works and what doesn't. Maybe things to potentially add. Um, I'd love to get feedback on this. So uh, I guess this is just ends devlog 01 or just one or whatever. So that's it.